My name is Satrio from Sansat Roastery. So today I would like to share about how to I roast the coffee using Lacone. This is actually the brand new from Indonesia. This is the Indonesian bride that we have from Surabaya, is Java. So this Lacone is created by using stainless steel drum 48. This is food grade and it will be more in a convection and radiation heat transfer. That's why it will be give a more flavorful without any ashy flavor or smoky flavor that we mostly got in a drum roaster which is using induction. So let's try. Today we have this coffee. <coughs> this is Las Margaritas Geisha with moisture matter of 11.5% and then for the density it giving 745 so now we will try because it has like a higher density than the other beans and then this also geisha and then it's uh, have um, the post harvest process is a uh, wash so we will use a higher charge temperature like for me I will use more than 200 now we will try to open the heater and then wait until 210 degrees celsius for the first I will prepare the beans what kind of um, interesting from this machine is uh, it's actually controlled by the device using an app and that we can download. It's also available for iPhone and also Android. Okay, then after 210 degrees Celsius, I will just press start button and the coffee will go through the drum roasting, press charge to close the tabs. We start roasting, why we are using a higher charge temperature is because we need to get like a soaking by the confection using the, the hot air inside the drum and it's giving a proper developing. In the first time, coffee get the endothermic. So endothermic process is about when the coffee get the hot air from outside. When there is the turning point, I just add the temperature in the full 100% to get the coffee in a proper direction to the drying process. Now it's 1 minute 58 seconds. So approximately the drying process will be end on uh, 3 or 4 minutes. So this is the process of endothermic process, which is the process when the coffee got the hot air from the outside and then it will keep and develop the inside from the coffee itself. Okay, then when it's close to the drying process, now it's a drying process in three minutes, yeah, exactly. And then I will reduce the temperature, the power. So the temperature were getting low slowly to achieve a longer mylar so it will give the caramelized process in a maximum way so the temperature were getting low slowly to achieve a longer mylar so it will give the caramelized process in a maximum way and then it will keep and develop the inside from the coffee itself okay then when it's close to the drying process now it's a drying process in three minutes yeah exactly and then I will reduce the temperature, the power. So the temperature were getting low, slowly, to achieve a longer mylar. So it will give the caramelized process in a maximum way. And increase the airflow. To throw more for the to throw more for the uh, hot air 
to avoid when the coffee have a faster crack. So we run for the six minute for the crack. And now we go on the caramelized process, which is the process when it's uh, the coffee almost cracked, which is exothermic process. When the coffee releases all the carbon dioxide and the hot air from the inside. And I increase the airflow. So it will let the coffee release all the carbon dioxide properly. It's almost cracked. Now it's 190 degrees. Commonly, coffee will be have a first crack pace in the 193 degrees Celsius. Now it's first crack. Five minutes, 40 seconds. And develop. We just turn off the heater. Let the coffee develop the flavors and then let the coffee develop the acidity, aroma, the body but don't make it longer because it will give a bitterness, acid flavor and smoky. But using this Lacone most of the time I um, never got a smoky flavor or even I can just brew the coffee immediately after roast. And I will end it in uh, 198 degrees Celsius. Seven minutes exactly. Now it's time to drop after seven minutes. When we have done with the roasting process, we can just immediately save the profile so that you can continue or repeat the profile in the same exact. We can put the name on it as Kesha uh, Village. Oh, sorry, Kesha Las Margaritas. 250 grams. When we are using this lacone, I prefer for the. Uh, we only use like a half batches, so it's when it's full, it will be 700. But I prefer when I roast the beans, I will use only less than 300 grams or 400 grams coffee. It will give you a proper develop, and then. As you can see, the, the physically for the beans is beautiful. Um, mostly if I roast the geisha, I will using like a faster roasting profile with a higher charge temperature and then I will just drop it less than 200 degrees Celsius. So this is about how do we use the lacone. It's actually the perfect match when you have like a small budget roasting profile or you want to roast the coffee in a small batch not that really the whole things like a 5 kg or something this is the great machine that we can use actually. thank you so much my name is Adrio from Sansa Western.